Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to make a video animation using Microsoft PowerPoint 2016. To be more specific, the video animation that I am going to show you is an animation of a process or a procedure of doing something. For example, how to make a strawberry cake or how to make your own shop, something like that. But in this video, I am going to make a video animation of the procedure or the methodology of our research study. Our research study is SWAC or SHUWAC's Additive Capacity of Taro Leaves Hydrophobic Properties. If you want to know more about our study, just click the link on the description box below. You don't have to follow my design. You can do it on your own. Just follow my directions on how you will make your own video animation. So let's start. The first thing that you have to do is, of course, to open the application. Make sure that the Microsoft application you have installed is Microsoft PowerPoint 2016. Or it can be any Microsoft PowerPoint between 2010 to the latest version. As you can see, the slide size of this is the bigger one, which is the widescreen. You can change it to the standard size if you want it to, but for me, it will stay the same. Next is the background of the slide. I will change it into green color. You can also change it depends on what kind of video animation you are going to make. But I suggest you to change the background. It would be better to put color on it. I'll just show you the procedure of our methodology so you will know the flow of this video. First thing that I will do is the acquisition of materials. Next is the extraction of wax. Then the making of our product. And lastly, testing of the product. So for the first procedure, the acquisition of materials. This is where you state the materials you need and how or where you will get them. Before I made this video, I already downloaded some of the pics that I will need in making this video from Google and save it in a folder. I'm going to choose the pics of the materials that will be included in the procedure. Copy and then paste. Arrange them to how you want it to look like. I'll just add this shape at the back so that these pictures will be visible. You can add some labels so that the people that will watch your video animation will not be confused with what you are showing. Next is to put some animation. What I like from this version is that it has great animations and you can also have customized animation. Although there are better animation in the latest version. So in this pic or the taro leaves, I'll use the fly in animation with flies from the bottom. So yeah, just like that and then for the label, I'll use the fade animation. You can also add multiple animations in here. From the advanced animation section, click the add animation button and then choose the animation you want. So I'll just add the same animation to the rest of these materials. A few moments later. So um I forgot to add something. In the advanced animation section, you can see this button above, the animation pane. If you click this, it will show all the animation you have used in each picture in the slide. What I want you to do is to click the very first animation you used. 
Click this one and then go to the timing section. Click this and choose after previous. It means that without clicking the slide, the animation of the pictures will eventually play. And you can also click with previous if you want the picture to play the animation the same time with the other. So for me, I want to play the animation of the pictures one by one, so I set it all to after previous. And then I'll play all. And that's what your animation might look like. The next procedure is the extraction of wax from the lips. In our research study, we have to take out the wax which contains the hydrophobic property from the taro leaves and use it in making a shoe wax. The first step is to get taro leaves and cut it into small pieces. So we will add a pair of scissors to show that it was cut using scissors. After cutting it, we will transfer it into a small beaker so we need a picture of a beaker. And then we will add animation to it. So guys, the rest of the procedure will take time so I'll just do the rest of the video by myself and I'll come back to you when it's done. One eternity later. Here is the whole animated presentation from the first procedure until the last procedure. It's quite messy but you will understand it after I played all the animation. Before we proceed in the next step, you might be asking how I came up with those things in each slide. It is the procedure of our study. If you want to understand the process, you can read it from our website and the link is in the description box below. So okay, next step is we'll add a transition in each slide so that the process will go smoothly when we export this into a video. So here it goes, the first one. And then the next. Next. And lastly. To make this presentation as a video, click File and then click Export. As you can see, you can also make it into a GIF and other things. Click Create video set the file size of the video and then here you can record the timing of each slide it depends if each slide has different duration of all the animation you used you can also add a narration while you are recording the timing or if each slide has the same duration of the animation you used just set the number of time here but for me i'll need to set the timing in each slide and then you patiently record your timings. A few moments later. If you're done with this, click create video and then change the title and save. So yes, that's how you make a video animation using Microsoft PowerPoint 2016. The thing in making a video animation in Microsoft PowerPoint is you have to be familiarized with the animation and the transitions that you are going to use so that you will see how smoothly your video will go if you want to watch more videos in my channel just click the link in the description box below and thank you for watching bye bye